in this lecture we are going to learn about maxima and minima in an interval so you have to find the maximum and minimum value of a function in a given interval and to know that you have to first understand what are critical points so critical points in a nutshell are the points where the derivative is zero or the derivative is not defined and then to find the maxima and minima you also need to look at the end points okay so this is in a nutshell but we will zoom it out and we will zoom it and see what it means by solving problems and seeing examples we will look at monotonic increasing function monotonically decreasing function we will use second derivative to find maxima and minima okay so these are the things that we will learn but first let's look here okay so we look at this place so here what happens is that we see about the critical points so first critical point is what where the derivative becomes zero so this example in this function in interval a to b the closed interval a to b we see that minima and maxima are occurring at the points where f dash x is equal to zero so this tells that there is one possibility that find all the points where f dash x is zero and try to find the maxima and minima for this so these are the important candidates for finding the maxima and minima next one is where f dash x is not defined at all so what happens here at this point it is the maxima but here the derivative is not defined the minima occurs where f dash x is equal to 0 so that's fine so we see that in our critical points the points where f x f dash x is not defined also comes but here what happens this function has nowhere where f dash x is equal to 0 in a to b but this is monotonically increasing function and its minimum at uh, is at a and maximum is at b okay so we must also evaluate the function at the end points so these are the places points where you should evaluate so where f dash x is equal to 0 where f dash x is not defined okay and at the end points okay so these three points you should investigate okay three sets of point next i used a word called monotonically increasing okay so let's look at what is monotonically increasing function so this function is decreasing 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 so in this interval in this particular interval of a to b this is continuously decreasing so it becomes monotonous and we say it's monotonically decreasing and what's the definition if for all points x1 and x2 okay belonging to the interval if x1 is less than x2 then f of x1 should be greater than or equal to f of x2 okay but if it is strictly decreasing then f of x1 should be greater than f x2 not equal to should follow okay similarly we see that if it is monotonically increasing it means it's continuously increasing this function with respect to x if x1 is less than x2 and x1 both belong to then fx1 is less than to fx2 for it to be mon monotonically increasing and for a strictly monotonically increasing again f of x1 should be less than f of x2 now if we look at the condition for monotonically decreasing function so simply f dash x 
the derivative should be less than zero in that interval then it will be monotonically decreasing if f dash x is greater than zero then it will be monotonically increasing okay so that is about monotonically increasing and decreasing functions and to find out if a function is monotonically increasing in the function or decreasing just calculate f dash x and see if it is greater than zero or less than zero okay so in the next class we will look at the second derivative test to find the maxima and minima and we will look at some examples okay so thanks a lot